Welcome to the latest anime news for the beginning of December 11th, 2021. And um, the good news is a little differently than we normally do. I don't actually have the news hooked in. So um, we're just going to talk through it. Um, so no lower thirds or anything. We're just going to stay here and talk through the news. Um, so let us begin. I think we've got everything good to go there. Yeah. Um, Oh, we got an uh, audio thing, but not allowed as loud this time around. Let me just double check my audio. It should be the same audio settings. Um, I, I will push it up a little bit further for you all. Um, so yeah, let's start with the Ghibli Museum, um, which they're accepting overseas donations. Um, the Studio Ghibli Museum in Tokyo has been running an ongoing donation campaign since the summer to offset the lots of visitors from the pandemic, as you can imagine. Um, although they, they surpassed their initial donation goal pretty quickly, the future of the museum is still a concern. So as of last week, donations are also being accepted from overseas. Um, besides the usual cost of maintenance, the building itself needs various repairs and maintenance. And the museum said, quote, we are operating very much in the red. And if we continue to draw on our financial reserves, we believe the operation of the facility and planned maintenance will be in jeopardy, end quote. Um, they cannot accept donations from China, the UK, and some of the European nations for legal reasons. But other fans can read directly through the campaign website, which is managed under, managed under Japan's hometown tax system, which aims to support small Japanese regions and cities through donations that are tax deductible and often come with exclusive gifts or merchandise, uh, goods or merchandise, which causes all of the anime fans' ears to perk. Um, uh, while the tax deductible feature may not be the case for all overseas donors, the opportunity to get a special thank you for their support still is those who donate more than 5,000 yen, or about 50 US dollars, will be mailed a special postcard illustrated by Hayao Miyazaki himself, featuring a robot from Laputa Castle in the Sky. It's pretty cool. Um, the, the campaign website, complete with English explanations for overseas supporters, is among the news links below if you'd like to check it out. Um, so what do you all think in terms of that? Do you think this is, like, what do you think the, the overseas reaction will be relative to the Japanese one? Hold on, hold on. Audio issues, one moment. Um, yep, one second. That makes no sense. Um, exactly. Um, that's we Oh, that's weird. Okay. Um, I think we should not have both of those. Weird. Um, all right. Um, try that. Can you hear us then? Me, 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 yeah, me, me. Yeah, there we go. Okay, yeah. um, that, right. that, that should be good. Um, weird. Weird. I literally just switched to a different scene and switched back, and it was fixed. I don't know. Uh, okay. Um, OBS it's kind of like the reset switch. Yeah. Um, exactly. So I don't know what what the uh, you know obviously I don't know what the what the nonprofit laws in Japan are or anything like that. But <clears> if they're talking around. One of the most difficult things for fundraisers, you know, speaking, have done it, mm. done it in the past. Probably will do it again in the future. Um, to do operational fundraising is really hard because it's not as sexy as mm. doing fundraising for like you're having a whole new wing of the hospital named after you or the mm. library or the museum or whatever. And what they're asking for is literally to <clears throat> keep the lights on, to keep the equipment that keeps the yeah. things, you know, protected and things of that nature. So just to kind of, I, I think from what you're saying is that what they're having problems with is being able to keep the items so that the public can see them. Mm -hmm. So in other words, they have the ability to still keep 
you know, like any items, museum oh, yeah. items that they have out there, you know, and, and maintain them. It's just that being able to produce it for, for people to enjoy it is another thing. And then, of course, it's just like keeping the lights on and paying your staff and all that stuff. Well, it sounds um, like the building itself needs some repairs. Right. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. It, it's more, you know, um, yeah. it's maintenance plus the sort of general, you know, right. oh, yeah, the gutter is cleaning, that, you know, whatever. Right. And that's, it. yeah. And, you know, honestly, if you, thought about it for a moment if you took $50 out of your life you know just like what would that $50 actually pay for you know if you're talking yeah. about something about like can you forego a a subscription to shun and jump for a little while can you right. forego buying something um can you, for, can you eat at home and not eat out that, that week mm -hmm. so that $50 when you actually stop and think about it for for us would not be that hard and so anyway, that, that's kind of my yeah. unsolicited push for Ghibli to get <laughs> all out there to go ahead and, and donate. Well, I think opening it up to the world too, you know, yeah. behind behind Disney, you have Ghibli. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I, yeah. I think you could say that there, there's enough love there mm -hmm. that, right. you know, this is on their part, great. How tax wise they're going to deal with a, you know, hopefully a flood of money coming in. Yeah. Um, right. That hopefully will be a secondary <clears throat> issue that their their legal team will work out. <laughs> right. You know, I I hope that going global on the call will result in exactly what they're looking for, plus yeah. a little bit more. Yeah. You know, what I would like to see is for them to do some. If they could, I know it's not exactly the same thing, but if they could do a push along with Bell. Mm. You know, you know, to do a, you know, sign kind mm -hmm. of announcement, you know, just kind of going, not exactly the same thing, but, you know, if you, if you like this, maybe help out with that. After what Hisoda describes his uh, experiences at Ghibli, that might be a difficult you know, yeah. mm -hmm. thing, but I agree. Yeah. I think that'd be a, a, a smart connection. Um, yeah, and, and exactly as Chuck's pointing out, it's, it's tough running a, mu a museum, you know, in, in these trying right times. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's, it's a rough one. Um, speaking of rough ones, um, the live-action Cowboy Bebop adaptation is back in news this week, but not in a positive light. Um, Netflix has officially canceled the series only a few weeks after the debut of its first season. Uh, we do have some numbers, though. Um, the series brought in around 74 million viewing hours so far, um, but its ratings dropped by 59% about two weeks after its premiere. Mm -hmm. um, received an average of only 46% among critics and 54% among audience members on Rotten Tomatoes. Um, the show's staff already sees, uh, teased a season uh, two way back in April 2020, but as the show's actual reception, that plan is no more unless, you know, Amazon comes in or some other streaming service right. comes in to rescue it. So uh, I think the only possible coda to that particular news story is See You Space Cowboy. Um, yeah. Or possibly bang. So, um, yeah. yeah, what's interesting is, and I, I, Steve, I think we were talking about this before. I've actually had a couple of conversations this week with people about the Cowboy Bebop live action series. Uh, people who were absolutely certain it was terrible, having never seen a single frame. Right. So, <clears throat> I actually devoted last week's on my channel um, saying, do critics even watch things anymore? And I actually tied it into Dune and the and MCU's Eternals, mm. you know, because there there are reviews out there that you just kind of look at it and you just kind of go, so basically you went to Reddit <laughs> and you looked at what the fanboys who haven't watched it yet right. were upset that it's not a scene by scene or somebody said, or the other more popular one is, is well, they tried to do too much. And it's just like, okay, so basically as a, as a reviewer, you went in for the first two episodes, read the Reddit, and that's, that, that's mm -hmm. how you did the review. Because I don't think, I don't think the, the critics gave it a fair shake. I mean, yeah. this is, look, and Brent, you know, and I talked to us about this yeah. as well. There were things that did not work mm -hmm. yeah. in, in this show, Absolutely. But, it, it, but it didn't impact it so much mm -hmm. to cause those reviews. And yeah. those reviews, when when somebody doesn't like something, they get specific. Yeah. There were no specifics on this. This was literally a general statement of they tried to do too much. And this is like, okay, did you watch it? Yeah. Did you watch it? And I think what happened here is that I don't think enough people actually watched it 
to make their own decision. And I think they relied too heavily on the critics yeah. who, quite frankly, I think fell down on their jobs yeah. with this. Again, this is not to say that you that somebody out there would watch this and go, no, this is garbage. I mean, you know, people are going to do that, mm -hmm. you know, but I, I don't think that I, I just, okay, condense the conversation. <laughs> I think basically, um, I, I just think that the critics did not allow the fans to have the ability to give it a good shot. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I don't think I don't think enough people watched it. I think if yeah. you watched it, if you watched it in the way that you would watch an MCU show, mm -hmm. then you would be like, "Oh, okay, I get it." Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, yeah, yeah sure. I was disappointed to hear that. So, yeah, yeah. Um, hadn't had a chance to see it yet. Now I'm only ever going to get to see you season one. Yeah, sounds like. Um, yeah. I was I was telling this book today actually that um, the thing about Bebop live action is that. Every dis every decision they made in that show, I found it very easy to explain. To yeah. say, okay, they did this, here's why. You might like it, you might dislike it, but it's fairly clear why this is here, this is there, that is there. And like every review I've seen is like, why did they change this? Why on earth would they do XYZ? And it's like okay. Clearly people aren't thinking this through. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, you know, I see a thing and just dislike it if I even see the thing. So it's, uh, uh. Yeah, and, but Lost in Space is the final season. Oh, okay, all right, fine. Yeah. Ah. And, the, and the weird part is that I some of the some of the reviewers, um, you know, I don't expect people to watch the anime and love it yeah, yeah, yeah. like I do, like, mm -hmm. like I do. But I expect the reviewer to have some knowledge mm -hmm. going in. Yeah. And I, I didn't feel that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, to your point, you know, when, yeah. when they say, because you're exactly right. You know, there, there are things like, oh, okay, I know why they did that. Mm -hmm. You know, how they did it this way, which choices. Were they? Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you're a reviewer that's accustomed to reviewing things like Big Bang Theory or something like Friends or some other sitcom, mm -hmm. it would be a, it's a far different show than that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, so right. it's, yeah, um, you got to come at it from a different angle mm -hmm. in order to give a decent, yeah. fair review. So, in one of the Laser Eyes, I love what they did with Grant. In live action Cowboy Bebop, like it's a very yeah. different. It's, they they com they completely rethought the character, and I love the new character. Like I think it's a it's really a, cool new character. It, it's a complete overhaul of yeah. an interesting character, and it was made. You're right. It was made more. He he made it actually. That actor made it more. Yeah. And more interesting. He did. Yeah. yeah. Um. And so again, it's one of those things where um, um, it's basically a different character, but I think it's it's an interesting take. Um. So anyway. But yeah, yeah, it's kind of Bebop in general. It's like, it's different, but I like it. Whatever. Yeah. Um, also this week, two stories we will talk about, maybe not in too much detail. Um, uh, speaking of Bebop, uh, anime screenwriter Keiko Nabumoto sadly passed away at age 57 this week after oh. battle with esophageal cancer. She was the original creator of uh, Wolf's Reign. Uh, also oversaw the series for the title Bebop. Uh, and screen, uh, uh, screenplays were about the movie and both editions of Mac Ross Plus. Um, yeah, also wrote yeah, the Space Dandies, yeah, yeah, him by yeah, Jim yeah. Blue, and clever to Soshi Cohen on Tokyo Godfathers. Yep. So, very impressive. Um, yeah. Yeah, uh, I totally forgot that. Wolf Rain. Wolf Rain. Yeah. I mean, that's, an under, that's an underrated one right there. Yeah. I, I, when it showed up on Toonami, I was like, what is this? Oh, <laughs> this is cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's a show you got to pay attention to. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I watched the first like episode of that and was like, I need time for this. <laughs> I'm not going to have the time to bounce back and forth between this show. I saw episode like five, then yeah. episode like 12. Yeah, yeah. I was like, <laughs> ah. I love this. I have no idea what's happening, but I still love it. Exactly. Um, 57. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I know. It's time to go to cancer, so probably, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll do this. Yeah. John, feeling, are, are you like me and feeling that cold wind on the back of your head? <laughs> no, it's basically what killed my father. Mm. So my it's, it's kind of like that hits pretty close yeah. to home where it's like, yeah, God, you know, it's just, you know, you know to stop smoking. Yeah. yeah. Um, did you hear what New Zealand's doing? Speaking of that. Um, Aren't they banning all smoking like forever? Yeah, Something weird. Um, it's all, it's like I saw, I saw a <laughs> snippet of that. I'm like, excuse me. Yeah, in 2025, they're going to raise the smoking age by a year, and every year thereafter, they're going to raise it by another year. Wow. 
<sighs> so effectively, starting at that point, no one will ever be able to legally smoke. Um, which is kind of interesting. You know, I'd definitely... Uh, it's one way to look at it. Yep, exactly. It's one way of doing it. Yeah. I'm not going to say it. it. Yeah. It's not absolute prohibition. It's just raising the legal age. Yeah. Interesting. interesting. Huh? Um, crafty. I like it. Crafty, exactly. All the 90 year olds hanging out by the Kambini. <laughs> <laughs> hey, kids, want to buy some smokes? Yes. Um, yes, we do. <laughs> Speaking of buying stuff, um, Hero Age will be holding its, its second Art of Anime and Everything Cool auction this week. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, through the 13th, um, featuring more than 700 anime lots, including Damn. items from Akira, Dragon Ball Z, Sailor Moon, and Studio Ghibli films. Um, Available items can be viewed and written on. And they're all website. NFT. Yeah, oh, no, no. Uh, um, uh, so you've got uh, feature production and promotional cells, signed illustrations, figures, and more. Um, they also have some American animation and comic stuff under the Everything Cool section. Uh, the first uh, auction was held in June. It's over $2 million overall. You get a general idea. Okay. Um, I'm guessing that's. Good. I would have kind of thought it would be a little high. Yeah, I know. That, that's for everything. So maybe maybe the auction isn't too bad. I'm actually going to pull up the website here real quick. I have Miyazaki's t-shirt. T-shirt. <laughs> One yesterday. Miyazaki's t-shirt. Don't go here for it. 50 cents. Ugh, God, just <laughs> um, so I want to keep the otaku out. <laughs> the, um, smells animation. like art. <laughs> um, I'm going to try something here. Um... Okie doke. Interesting. So yeah, the problem here is they've listed it. It's listed on the website, but they are not showing. Okay, yeah, they, they, they are. They are. Mm-hmm. Um, so it looks like the animation cells are actually only a couple hundred bucks in general. Um, wow. I'm surprised. Wow. Um, so for example, they've got, um, or they are listing um, a... Sailor Moon Luna production cell to Luna with a hat on. Current bid is one eighty five, one eighty five dollars, oh. which is yeah. not bad at all. No, that's um, actually yeah. kind of market Sailor price. Stuff, I mean, um, well, well, that's that's not guaranteed, right? Well, that's the current bid. Yeah, it's current bid. I believe one eighty five. So, um, the yeah, there's a uh, Usagi and Luna for five fifty four, well, five fourteen, excuse me. So yeah, that's, hmm. that's not bad at all. Um, I'm seeing some Dragon Ball cells. Uh, I am seeing... Oh! Whoa! Okay, so we, I go down to most popular. Um, let me see if I can pull up a... There's the news. Do I have... Um, I'm going to pull in... Uh, see if I can pull in... What is that? I don't want that. It's Kaneda on the bike, original cell from Akira, it's, and it's ten million dollars. No, it's yeah. Evangelion. Oh. oh okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's just do oh, that. And oh, it's there we the go. rare scene of Gendo hugging Shinji. <laughs> um, <laughs> wow. Not not even that. So um, there we go. So and there's also just wow, really uh, interesting. Okay, so. Uh, I'm just going to pull this up here. We'll transition over. So, would you like the image of uh, topless Major Kasaragi from the opening credit sequence of Neon Genesis Evangelion? Oh, dear lord, no. Um, it is already sold, oh, by the way. how much? It doesn't say. Oh, um, oh well, I bet you sketch. expensive. Yep, <laughs> Absolutely. So you can get that. Um, you have Satsuki on Totoro. Okay. From the climax of Mind with Totoro. Again, already sold. Um, other stuff from Totoro. You have your Dragon Ball. Did I see Speed Racer? Yes, you did. <laughs> There's a production cell. How much? Uh, production background. Already sold. Wow. Damn it. Yeah, yeah. These are the most popular. That I'm sure they're all going to be sold. Um, we've got oh, Michelle, Major Kusanagi. Yep, that one's done. Um, from the original movie, the Cat Bus. Oh wow, they've got that scene from End of Evangelion. Okay, yeah, 
Which yeah. what scene is that? I, I can't yeah. see it on. on um, it, uh, it is Shinji looking over Asuka in the bed. Um, <laughs> oh, that one. That one, yeah, that one where he then does a thing. Um, he, no, yeah, he very much does a thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh boy. Uh, we also get him strangling Asuka in the end of Evangelion. Um, Kiki, Totoro, Dragon Ball. Um, oh, Faye. Speaking of Bebop, there's there's a Faye cell. Um, Dang. Cell showing up, yep. Um, so there's that. Um, Can you imagine the, the, the announcer with that one, the Asuka with Shinji strangling Asuka? Boy. <laughs> And we have this pa- we have this cell of a young man strangling the other <laughs> lady. Exactly. And in this cell, we have this young man with the same lady, but doing a blankety blank. <laughs> you see all the fans, like you know, the bidding fans just go, "Oh, I don't want that." Yeah. Oh. Exactly. <laughs> um, and all the creepy really otakus cool. were sweating and breathing hard, putting up their little pads. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, this is the ice cream to... rabbit. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so I'm going to go into the merchandise channel in the Discord, um, a, a link to that option. It did not uh, copy that time, so hold on. So, so by the way, in at the end of the Eternals, mm. not, not, not a spoiler, but yeah. at the end of the Eternals, there is an, oh, a, wow. definitely an Evangelion scene. Oh, nice. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Ooh, you're going yeah. to you're gonna, you're gonna be like, oh, yeah, mm. that. Same like Jack Anyone would like some Tang? <laughs> hey. Same Cat like Tang? Really? Oh, okay. Which 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 one? Which? Um, it is. Um, uh, it, it's Jack on a precipice. Oh, okay. It's gonna be it. Yeah. Um, um, also some slight second sexiness here and there. Um, some heavy metal cells. Ooh, oh, wow! Yeah. As in hey, the where did they pick no, those up from? Yeah. Now which one? Which one? The original. I guess original? original, like 1981. Oh, yeah. Tarna on the pterodactyl thing. Um, Ula Tech. Ula Tech. Ula Tech. Ula Tech. Utena. Wow. Utena. Yeah. There's, there's Utena. That's um, a revolutionary shit. Um, already right sold. Um, a few of these were still available. Um, the Samurai Jack Cell is currently bid as 875. Wow. Okay. Um, Interestingly, there's a, a Fritz the Cat cell, um, with, which features furry nudity. Uh, sorry, I, I can't click on it, but it's only 81. It. The current bid is only 81 dollars. Is it hospital bed? Is it hospital bed? I, 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 can't, I, don't, I don't know. It doesn't say. Yeah. It's just Fritz the Cat. Uh, okay. Um, but it's um, it's only 81 dollars for a bit. Which for a production cell, we can fix the cat. That's pretty cheap. Um, I would imagine. Do, do a lot of people know Fritz the Cat anymore? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that cell of Tarna... Uh, on the uh, the the pterodactyl thing is pterodactyl. How about thirty bucks? Per yeah, I mean, really, that's decent. Um, that's actually yeah, pretty well, darn good for a cell from nineteen eighty one. Absolutely, you know what I mean? Ooh. Like, <laughs> Illustration of Vash the Stampede by Yasuhiro Naitao. Oh wow! Already sold. Dang. Yeah, these are some these are some good things. Nadia. Wow. Wow. Nadia from the opening credit sequence. Ooh. Um, more Bash, uh, more Dragon Ball, uh, Castle in the Sky, um, Tom and Jerry. Tom. Mm. Yep. 200 bucks for yourself from Tom and Jerry. Uh, Nazca. G Gundam? The first Gundam in this is G Gundam? That's funny. Already sold. Silverhawks promotional poster sketch. Damn. Okay. Does anybody bit. remember that? Silver Hawks. Yeah. God. Yeah. Wow. So they clearly went into the vault for the Evangelion cells. Because there's a lot of you right here. The Big O. Okay. Simpsons Tree House of Horror 4. Huh. What? Um, <laughs> and then more Ghibli. Let's see if there's anything else, interestingly. Wow. Is tree, title, what's Treehouse going for? Uh, Treehouse is going for um, $7.25. Ooh, okay. Yep. Too rich for me. <laughs> Damn it. Um, <laughs> there's uh, there's a title card from Evangelion of the shape of hearts and humans. So it's like just the the text of the title of the episode. Interesting. Yeah, that's four hundred bucks if you're interested. Wow. Um, Lupin the Third. 
more mm. Nausicaa and such. Um, yeah, no, no FMP. Um, Johnny Quest. Oh, wow. Opening sequence production sale of 94. <gasps> yeah. Oh, oh, really? $369. Wow. Yep. Mm-hmm. $64. <laughs> uh, $369. 300 Thir- Okay, I was going to be like, $64. Yeah. I'm like, going, okay, sorry, guys. I got to go. Right? Yeah, I think. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's the guys in the little hover. hover oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You could own it. Um, Vampire Hunter D. Bloodlust production cell. Oh, wow. Um, okay, cool. Perfect Blue production mm-hmm. cell with background of Mima. Already sold. Uh, so, you uh, do, where are you running? Ah! I'm almost ended this. Um, uh, Scooby Doo cell of Scooby Doo in the running cycle. Oh. So, it's just the running. <laughs> it's in like every episode three times. Oh, what five hundred twenty-five dollars! Dang. Yeah. So no. Okay. Rory Kenshin. Um, production Running cell. cell. Already. No. Uh, yeah. No, already gone. <laughs> no. Opus and Bill the Cat production cell. What? Yeah. Holy there was a cartoon of that. Cow. Wow. Wow. I have not seen Opus and Bill the Cat. No. How long? Oh my. Five hundred fifty oh. bucks. Bloom County. Yep. Oh, Jesus. Uh, wow. Giant Robo. Eva, Guns of Cats, opening title, already sold. We do movies, Wiley Coyote production sell, current bid $1,000. Yeah, classic um, Warner Brothers sell? Hell yep. yeah. Mm-hmm. SpongeBob SquarePants, uh, production sell, three thirty. dollars yeah. Ronma Half, that's a good sell, already sold. It's uh, Akane, Ronma, and Kuno, all in one sell together. Damn. Damn. They, uh, it's it's gone. Um, yeah, that, that Astro is, uh, Boy. Yeah, it's gone. No, there's a um, there's an Evangelion cell, and it's the cell of uh, uh, Gendo with Shinji on the uh, um, on, on all of the the TVs. Oh. They're selling that cell, <laughs> and it's gone. Oh. It's completely gone. Um, Angel's Egg production cell. Wow. What? Yeah. Um, cool World. Oh, oh okay. wow. that is still available for two hundred seventy dollars, featuring Ralph the. Uh, yep. Um, yeah. uh, Batman the Animated Series production cell of oh, the oh, Joker dear. and Harley Quinn. Oh dear! Still available three hundred seventy dollars. It's almost reasonable. That's, that's tempting. Um, Powerpuff Girls with him. What? And Blossom Bubbles and Buttercup. Oh. Three hundred ten. Dang. Yeah. Some Tom and Jerry. A lot of stuff here. Um, Batman Mask of the Phantasm Cell. Ooh. Only two thirty. It's Batman himself. Dang, really? Yeah, Dang. surprising. Um, he Man Cell. Um, Master of the Universe two ten. Ooh, a Bat. That's I'm surprised it's that cheap. There's a Batman the animated series of uh, Cell from Harley's Holiday. Um, that was a great episode for two hundred ten dollars, and it, it's Harley in street clothes. Oh, yeah. Wow. I'm surprised it's only 210. Um, Secret of Nim Cell. Oh, Jesus. Oh, what? $525. And it's uh, Mrs. Bridley being attacked by, the, I forget the name of the guard, um, outside of their thing with their, 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 their pole oh, yeah, in yeah. the water. Oh, that almost got me. That almost got me. Anima- uh, Animaniacs, Garfield oh. and Friends. Is it Animaniacs, Yakko? Wacko oh yeah, dot, it's or... Yakko, Wacko, and Dot. Current oh. bid, uh, it's like a, it's a pool cell. No, that, it, no it's, 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 a, it's a long cell. It's a big long cell they pan over. Okay. $135. Yeah. Yeah. Yakko, Wacko, wow. and Dot. Oh, damn. Um, mm, mm. How big is the cell we're talking about? I, uh, yeah. um, Five feet long, so, damn it. Um, Price is right, the size is wrong. <laughs> Um, eleven point two five inches by thirty seven inches. Oh, jeez, three feet by the three foot long cell. Wow, yeah. wow, interesting. Um, Framing of that alone would be yeah, wow. interesting. Um, <laughs> yeah, you can get a cell from the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. Um, I'm gonna have to pass on this. Yep, <laughs> Card Captor Sakura, hand cell of Sakura. In one of her outfits, sold. Okay. Saint Seiya, 
uh, Battle Angel Alita, Pinocchio. Like, as in the actual original As in the Pinocchio. original Pinocchio Disney film. Cleo and Figaro. Sold? Sold, I'm assuming? Uh, still open for bidding. How much? Um, it looks like... Uh, it, it has not been um, put on auction yet. Okay. Okay. It, like. it is an auction preview. Yeah, here. that one's not going to yeah. be cheap. A double Zeta Gundam cell, for no apparent reason. Godzilla the cartoon. Anime and Godzuki? Whoa. The Yellow Submarine. Oof. A Where cell from the Yellow Submarine, that? which features Paul and the Blue Meanie. Oh. oh. $390. Oh, that's you're kidding me. That's yeah, that's crazy. nothing. That is nothing. That? Yeah, that's like ridiculously cheap. Yeah. More well, Cool World, um, Spicy City. Not familiar with that. Um, oh! Is that? That's done. Um, they have a cell of the RX-78 Gundam from the opening credit sequence of it, like full, just the, the head of the RX-78. Oh, that's gone. Um, otherwise, I might bid on that. Golden Boy? Oh, wow. Sell from Golden okay. Boy, of the, the girl in the uh, the uh, swimsuit. Um, Rugrats. Um, $185 sell from Rugrats. And because who wouldn't want that hanging on their wall? A sell from Grave of the Fireflies. Oh. Of, uh, of Seta, you know, grabbing the man... You know, in his in his thing. Oh, know. the yeah. Kenpei Tai guy. Yeah. Uh, because oh. who wouldn't want him? And then finally, a try gun cell, which is gone. Um, Jeez. So yeah. And for time, Mazen Kaiser. A lot of cool stuff here. Jeez. Um, and this is a joke. This is starting from most popular, going down. So there's got to be stuff here. That is decent. I'm going to try real quick. Um, uh, price lowest first. <laughs> Yep. Tom and Jerry. Um, but the, Brave oh. the Brave Little Toaster. The Brave Little Toaster. Current bid uh-huh. zero dollars, which is a shame. Oh. That's a um, a cell from Bozo, the world's most famous clown, featuring Bozo, Wacko, Wolf, and Butch, which Steve you can own for eleven dollars. Well, technically twelve. It's like nightmare fuel, isn't it? Yeah. Jesus, it's it's I not saw great. The Bozo live show. Yeah, no, there's yeah, a there's a I live action. An there's, there's an animated cartoon of that. Um, yeah. Jumanji the animated oh. series. Um, uh, a cell. I'm going to scroll right past with some uh, panties from Golden Boy. Um, okay. A cell from Rojin Z. A bunch of cells from Rojin Z for twenty five bucks. I'm actually tempted by that. Um. That made the animated series. Alfred and Bruce Wayne for $26. Fist of the North Star, X of the huh. Movie. Ah! I'm bidding! I'm bidding! Anna oh, Green Gables and Shirley and Diana Barry, $26. Oh, jeez. I am bidding on that. Holy crap! <laughs> I am totally Damn. bidding on that. <laughs> crap! Anna Diana. Yeah! Um, that's, that's, yeah. that's, that's, that's gorgeous with a very nice background. Um, all right. They got me. They got me. Um, <laughs> Kaka Sakura, Punky, it's Punky Brewster, the Punky Brewster cartoon. Oh my oh, gosh. Thing. I remember yep. that. Um, four cells yeah. and come in for 27 bucks. That's not bad. Um, whoa. A cell of Whiskers the Cat. The cartoon inside the last action hero. Remember in the last action hero, there's this cartoon. It's like DeVito showing. Did the voice. Yes. David it's like... Devito did the voice. <laughs> yes. Dang! Wow, that's deep. <laughs> Thirty-one dollars. Um, oh, gotta scroll again past some uh, changing shots from Golden Boy. Um, Yogi Bear, Yogi and Boo Boo, forty-five dollars. Red and Stimpy. Oh, $48. Um, wow. Rumi from Perfect Blue, $50. Oh, boy. Um, yeah, it, it, it's her as like Rumi, Rumi. Um, yeah. But like, yeah. Yeah, that, that, that's not bad. Not bad. You have your slice of crazy on your wall. Exactly. <laughs> um, 
Sailor Moon S, $52. Yeah, there, there are cells I would definitely bid on. There is a cell of Major Kusanagi. It's like a distant cell. Uh, but it's Major yeah. Kusanagi, the original Ghost in the Shell, $52. Mm. Dang. So, when do these auctions close? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, like t tomorrow, basically. Um, and of course, you can also get a cell of all the characters from the New Adventures of Gilligan's Island. <laughs> oh, for fifty-five cents. 50, 50, yeah, fifty-six bucks. They're, they're giving it away as a freebie. Yeah, <laughs> like, right. here, please take it. Ow. No, I'm I'm good, thanks. Um, Schoolhouse Rock, Freakazoid. Oh, Freakazoid. <sighs> Freakazoid. Wow. Johnny Bravo. <laughs> Johnny Bravo. <laughs> Ooh, talk. Ooh, I I yeah. might get on this as well. There is a cell from Wizards. Wait a minute, what from Wizards? Ralph Bakshi's Wizards? There's a cell of, from Ralph Bakshi's Wizards of the main character, the wizard. Current How bid, much? $66. The current bid. <laughs> yeah. That's insane. Yeah, now, I'm sure that's not going to be the final bid, but two production yeah. cells from Space Ghost. Wow. Oh! Doug. Doug. Yep, the, the cartoon series Doug, Nickelodeon uh -huh. show. Yeah. $72 for a group of three, the model sheets for the main cast. Wow. So it's, I would have thought they would have gone for more than that. Yeah, main I mean, again, early days. Um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Fairly Odd Parents, Pinky and the Brain. Wow. 75 bucks. Yeah, yeah. Not bad. Not bad. Tiny Toons. Who? Which one's from Tiny Toons? Um, it is actually, uh, so it is uh, Buster Babs, Goopy Gear, Foxy, and Roxy. So when they were doing the sort of Golden Age throwback episode. Yeah. Um, $76. Oh, boy. Wow. Cat. Yeah. Buster Bunny, no relation. Oh. Yeah. Um, wow. Ooh. Yeah. Secret of Nimcell. Uh, Nicodemus holding the uh, the uh, the gem for ninety six bucks. Mm. Okay, okay, some nice stuff here, some very nice Jeez. stuff. Here. But enough of that. Back to the news. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the news. Oh, 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 yeah. Chatlin is going. God, they just geeked out for the. Exactly. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's kind of a thing with us. Um, all right. So yes, so that that is a possibility. Um, let's go back to where were we? Yeah, we go. Um, still on the topic of buying stuff, but slightly less happy. If you've made any purchases from the Evangelion store online in the last couple of years, keep an eye on your email and bank account. The store announced last week this website suffered a credit card data breach, and more than 17,000 customers' information was illegally accessed. Um, the, some credit card companies contacted the store about concerns uh, on July 12th, and so they removed the option for card payment and opened an investigation with a third party company, which was completed at the end of September. Um, the investigation concluded that users' card information was linked to purchases made between June 8th, 2020, and June 30th, 2021. That's wow. over a for year. A year. Jesus. The wow. company will email customers with a notice and an apology. And is working with credit card companies to help reissue, reissue new credit cards. The store is currently inaccessible and will reopen at a later date. So, wow, that's yikes. Not good. Yeah, no, wow. Um, um, the classic ninja comedy anime Nintama Rantaro, which I literally did not hear about until this week, has announced its 30th series last week, set to premiere in 2022. Um, and uh, kick off the franchise's 30th anniversary celebrations. The original gag manga company follows Ron Taro and his friends at the Link Ninjutsu Academy. And adapted into a TV anime that's been airing, airing on NHK since 1993, making it the second, second longest running anime of all time, technically. Um, I've never heard of it. I've never heard of it. Yeah. Um, it's, sort of, it's, it's a very much super deformed, you know, ninja, like ninja kids. Kind of a style thing, okay. Um, but yeah, that, that's that's a show that's <laughs> been going on forever. Yeah, no joke. Um, 
the Reborn to Master the Blade from Hero King to Extraordinary Squire light novel series, and it's by an anime adaptation. Um, Inglis, a hero king, is his final wish is to live again as a warrior, but when he awakens again, he finds he's been reborn as, you guessed it, a girl. Um, uh, there have been too many anime shorts already. Um, a cryptic new promotional video began streaming last week for a new anime director by director Tomohiro Furukawa with script from mystery novelist Yuki Shasendo. The video lists the anime as Title Untitled Project. Uh, and the phrase Love Cobra features in the anime's official Twitter account in the video, which depicts a red snake with a heart-shaped head. The video's description reads, I love you, but I have come to kill you. Uh, Tomohiro Furukawa, um, known for, um, he's did a, done quite a bit of animation, um, also directed Review Starlight, um, looking for other stuff, um, the Review Starlight uh, movie, and what else? Worked on G.I. Joe, apparently. Cobra! <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, an animator on everything from Bleach to Another to Angel Beats, Fate Zero, Second Season, Fate Stay Night, UBW, uh, Durarara, um, The Macross Frontier movie, Sailor Moon Crystal, Quasar of Stigmata, um, <laughs> Simple Gear, a bunch of Simple Gears. Tari Tari, some Precure, some Yu-Gi-Oh, Yurikuma Arashi. Wow, a bunch of stuff in Yurikuma Arashi. Huh? Um, so who knows? Studio Plot announced last week its web anime of Tenko Penguin is inspiring its own TV anime. It premiered January, January 5th, excuse me. Um, the manga centers on a penguin working at a difficult company and griping about the challenges of workplace life. I'm all for it. There was an episode of The Critic where um, two characters oh, yeah. uh, two characters are on a, a plane going to like South America, and it's just falling apart, like it's it's it's, it's barely in the air, and um, the, the ride's very bumpy, and so one of them uh, goes up to the, uh, the the forward cabin, and they see sitting in the uh, the cockpit is a penguin um, who's flying the plane, and the, and the guy goes, "Wait a minute, penguins can't fly." And the plane immediately goes, you know, goes down. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, but the penguin just just, just talks um, the entire time like this. That's what I imagine this anime is like. That's just the entire show. <laughs> With subtitles. Just exactly. them what the penguin's talking yeah. about. <laughs> it's Pen Pen. There we go. Exactly. Yes. Who, as we know now, is God. Um, <laughs> the Town of Kamine's official PR YouTube channel. Began streaming a web anime called Jinzei Hachiro Tamitomo on Thursday. It had 13 episodes, with episodes 2 to 13 airing monthly, starting in May of next year. It's part of a project in order to leave the region of Kamamine, which tells the story of a samurai who finds personal growth in the region after being disowned by his father. So that would be cool. Seeing more regional anime. Um, Does his father work for a modern company, or are we just <laughs> the, the nostalgic historic element of Kamamine? Probably nostalgic. I'm, I'm, <laughs> He's Disney's his father Rar. who runs a convenient. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that sounds like an interesting story. Uh, the first episode of a short net anime based on Rie Yamamoto's Neko the Yokoraba, Yokoreba cat, excuse me, cat manga, began streaming last Friday. Um, and about five episodes based on famous stories from the manga, which features a talking cat who listens to humans' worries to help them feel better, which hopefully is better than the movie A Talking Cat! Exclamation point, question mark. Which, if you've seen Rip Tracks, you know is oh, um, less than stellar. Less than stellar. Um, Studio Pinoc revealed this week they're creating an anime film adaptation of AF Herald and Emily Gravitt's novel The Imaginary, which will open mm. in Japan next summer with the title Rudger in the Attic. Mm. The novel story follows Rudger, the imaginary friend of a girl named Amanda, as he tries to escape an evil man who hunts imaginaries and reunite with Amanda before she forgets about it. Sounds like a very classic children's novel kind of concept. Yeah. Hmm. Um, Netflix and Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. Yes, exactly. Very much. Um, Netflix and Wit Studio also announced an upcoming anime film this week. Bubble will debut worldwide on Netflix at the end of April. The script written by Gen Urobuchi and direction from Attack on Titans Tetsuro Araki. 
the story set in Tokyo that has been cut off from the people from the outside world by a rain of gravity-defying bubbles with a group of young people uh, wage team parkour battles. Um, it's a very anime premise, but it looks like Weathering with You. Um, it's a very Makoto Shinkai-esque art style. So, very curious to see how that's going to end up. Um, Will they go to nationals? Will yeah. They go to nationals? <laughs> yeah. Who knows? Um, and finally, there are plenty of awards out there that honor the people who create anime and manga. But digital book vendor Book Live has created a new industry award specifically to honor manga characters. The Magatomy Award 2021 will feature the manga characters that, quote, shined the most this year, end quote. Fans okay. can nominate their favorite manga characters <laughs> to their website until January 5th and can vote through the site once per day. So, okay. is there a manga of Twilight would be the question. Oh boy! Because I mean, plenty of sparkling there. Um, you know that would that would definitely work. This is uh, going to turn into like an ugly best girl best boy fight. Yep. Yeah, that's <laughs> like, exactly what it's going to be. Oh boy! Oh boy! We know it's Rem hands down, so y'all can go. <laughs> so that's all the news for this week. Thanks for watching. See you next week.